Hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Happy Reward Meal Mentor live Q&A about the, the app. Um, so, you know, one of the things I want to do is kind of quickly go over what's going to be on the app. I was hoping to be able to demo on my phone, but I didn't have a chance to figure that out uh, before we got on the call. So, um, so in the app, you are going to be presented. You've seen many of you may have seen screenshots already, and so you'd be presented with kind of your your menu for the week. All right, so it should be seven recipes, and it defaults to the family plan since that's the most popular plan. Um, but there's a little toggle in the top, and you can just select individual, and you can then see all the individual recipes. Then you can just add those individual recipes to uh, the shopping list. Um, and you, there's also a neat little feature that you can see on uh, the recipes as well that you can do a heart and it favorites it. And so then that favorite, you know, just stays in the search area. So you can always go back and reference those favorites. Um, oh, but the cool thing that you guys have all been asking for is you can completely ignore the seven suggestions I'm going to give you and pick your own stuff, absolutely. either these favorites or something else that just yeah. strikes your fancy. So exactly. You'll be able to go you have just something to start with. But yeah, yeah, you'll just be able to go to search, search in there and find different things. Now, obviously, when we launch, our intention is to have about 120 recipes in the mm -hmm. in the um, in the database. Um, it'll have the November, uh, the first week of November's uh, meal plan. Oh, and tons of Thanksgiving stuff's already in there. Yeah, yeah. So that's a big part of it is mm -hmm. is getting a lot of holidays and uh, Thanksgiving recipes in there for that Lots launch. Of options for them. Um, yeah, and really we do, excited. and we will still continue to release like, uh, the meal plan, like every week. Mm -hmm. Um, the difference is instead of releasing it on Wednesday, um, we're going to release it on Sunday. Um, and so that's, we're going to change what day of the week kind of the meal plan is released. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that's a big part of it. And it'll still be really seasonal. Yes. That's what we're always doing. And that's one of the things I love about the app is I was in the store and I saw butternut squash was on sale, like super duper cheap. And I was like, oh my God, I should totally take advantage of this. So I just opened the app and was able to click on a butternut squash recipe and sw switch out something else so I could like take care of the deal. And I was like, this is amazing. I'm doing this in the produce section. Um, and sometimes like literally walking, I'm just so excited, walking from my car to the front of the store, I'll do our whole meal plan. Like I'll literally just open the app and be like, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this, and I'm done. And then I'll get to the produce section and see a sale and have to witchy poo but just the fact that i have this perfect customized meal plan to exactly what i want in five seconds is incredible but i, yeah. keep, I keep stealing it scott's yeah. like this was my baby let me talk yeah, and i yeah. was just like but i'm gonna have so much i want to say so it's your yeah yeah again. no no I, and so <laughs> I, i'm basically just trying to like vocally move you through the meal plan and yeah. so and we will do a video of so the thing yeah yeah the absolutely there's more information we're to come. still yeah, yeah, there's okay, still a lot, lot of stuff to do. Um, and so on the shopping list, so when you're looking at the shopping list, mm -hmm. um, let's say you've added five recipes to it. Um, up at the top, you'll have the ability to like, like, like turn off. Like, so let's say you, you're only wanting to shop for two recipes today, because maybe you like to go to the market twice a week or something like that. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can just show those two recipes that you're trying to look at when you're shopping. And you can either sort by the recipe. So it, it'll say like, Dan Dan noodles and then the ingredients for the Dan Dan noodles um, and then the next recipe under that. Or you can have it searched by location just like how in the same sense that we had it on the, the PDF. So herbs and spices, fresh produce, uh, pot, grains and pasta. And so it will be organized. Canned items. Yes, exactly. So you can then Frozen. you can look at it either either way that, that you prefer. Um, and so then that's kind of the shopping list, right? And then you can cross things off as you, as you, um, uh, put them in your cart, as you put things in your cart or obviously. So, you know, like one of the things that we try, often try to espouse is that, you know, you select your recipes and then you go to your pantry before you even go shopping and you cross things off your shopping list. But if you're like me and you're planning between the store and the. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. produce section. Yeah. But I, you know, it's, I mean, I feel like I know I'm like, oh, I have soy sauce. I know I have flour. I know I have soy milk yeah. because I buy that stuff in droves on yeah. Amazon. You have to get 10 soy milks at once. I'm like, mm, yeah. You know. And so some of you might be curious, why is Scott talk, doing so much of the talking? And the reality is that I've just been way more involved in this because this is very much a technology product. Well, it was your, like, your baby. He yeah. convinced me. I was super resistant, but now I yeah. love it. I so, still only use my iPhone for like audible directions in this app, but yeah, you know, yeah. um, oh, and paint. Yeah. And so, yeah. And so, um, 
obviously you can you can cross things off out of your pantry and then you cross things off when you're shopping um and you know then you have the ability to um you know like actually look at just the recipe by itself mm-hmm. and then as you're cooking the recipe you can check off it, items as you've completed oh, which them is my favorite i yeah. when scott showed me that feature because i was missing it at first i was like this changes everything because i used to print the recipe on my um cabinet as you guys can see and i would cross them off as i did it and i would cross off the steps to not lose my place but now you just like check it so you always know you don't have to figure out what step you're at you can just see as you're going and so if you do walk away to get your laundry or your kids bothering you or in my case my dogs start fighting and screaming i know exactly where i've left off i don't have to figure it out because i've checked off my progress and um, there's been a lot less burning of food because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm always trying to like listen to a book and do my laundry and do like 20 other things while I'm cooking our food. Yeah. Um, but I don't have the same <laughs> yeah. burning problems. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, and, uh, you know, so, you know, there's, uh, obviously we, I've kind of gone over the shopping list yeah. and, and kind of the, and the, the favorites, which yeah, I love, the I love the favorites um, or that we the, can search by ingredient. Yeah. Like so, well, okay. So, so that's the thing. So this is the thing. This is always the compromise of technology is yeah. certain things are not available at launch and the, and the search by ingredient is not going to be available. But at it's, launch. Coming, it's coming. It's coming. It's I, I know it's something, I, it's amazing how many problems you run into with this kind of stuff. So it, that's one of the things that's not going to be available. We had initially hoped that we could have basically have um, the shopping list or pr- printing a shopping list or printing a recipe directly in the app. And I don't think that's going to be available at launch. But what I'm that's, intending, it is coming, yeah. it's intending to come in in the app. But it, I, my intention is to also put it on the website if you really want to print it. You can maybe print the recipes yes. from the website. In the meantime, we'll do yeah. that because we know a lot of you guys still want to be able to print. So while we figure it out, but there's, yeah, so it, there's, there's not so going to necessarily coming, yeah. yeah, there's not necessarily going to be an app on the website. The, the right. intention is that you do it on your phone. Um, uh, but you and, can print. Yeah, yeah, and and you can print. Um, there, you also will have the ability to add it, put it on a tablet like an iPad or um, or Android tablet. Now I can tell you the. The app is being designed for the phone, so they're not going to look. It's not going to look as good um, on but those tablets, but it 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 should work. Um, so that's and, been using like our super old iPad, and it yeah. I mean, it doesn't look as hot as it does on the phone, but it's totally still functional. And I can, I, I, it's just not the most yeah. pretty. And it's something we're going to learn, and maybe maybe we eventually have an, an iPad version or app versions of this because i don't know if you want a big screen one of the things is i'm just not sure of how much work it would be for us you know we're a small company we don't have that many cus you know you know members and so like we don't know how if it's really Mm -hmm. worth it if there's only 100 people using an ipad it's kind of hard to justify you know so so um, there was a lot of questions that i want to get through too that yeah well and and uh yeah so uh, well we haven't talked about the plans and stuff like that okay we can talk about plans (laughs) So, um, so the, 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 we did a, yeah, we did some customer kind of surveys and, and research and mm-hmm. talked to a lot of you guys, um, before we, oh yeah. Thanks for everyone who did the, the interviews app. with us. That was amazing. And, um, you know, one of the things, some of the stuff that came out of it was that we have a lot of folks that, that just want the access to the recipes mm-hmm. and are not interested in books and not interested in community and all of that stuff. And so that's one of the reasons why we kind of created the basic plan. The basic plan just gets you access to the app, gets you access to the recipes. Um, People want to do their own thing. Yeah. yeah. And they're very interested in maybe newer recipes, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And so that's why we have the basic plan. And now the standard plan, and, you know, we lowered the price. Um, it is still only annual, but you'll be able to buy it anytime. Uh, and yeah, you don't have to wait for a sale anymore. Correct. Yeah, and and so that standard plan, you know, you get access to the app, you get access to the community. So that means the Facebook VIP group. Mm-hmm. That means the 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 forums, um, and that means and also we're planning to offer like discounts on books. Now, um, we had talked about one of the questions actually was, will you have access to that old library of books? And and the answer is no. Um, so if you are a member now and you want any of those books, go download them now. Yeah, download them. Um, because whenever we switch over, the books are only going to be available to, to folks that have mm-hmm. decided to go with the premium plan. Um, and the premium plan is about um, making 
giving people access because we've we, during our our interviews and stuff like that. Every a lot of people said that they kind of wanted everything and they just wanted to make one purchase a year and not have to think about anything else. Yeah. So that, if I do like a new program like the Blueprint or the Bikini Boot or something, they just wanted it. They didn't yeah. want to have to buy a second thing. So that's, yeah. that's for these people. If you want everything, um, all my workshops next year, all the next Blueprint stuff I'm doing. Um, this is just included. It just makes it easier for you because I get it. You don't want to just like have to keep buying things. You just want it all included. And so for those folks, for my hardcore guys, um, yeah, that's where that is. But I think I got a little confused back there, so I'm just going to kind of break it up. So sure. for people who just want the recipes, there is this really basic plan. If the prices come down, so it's a really great thing if that's all you want. If you're the kind of person like me where you want the recipes, but you also need community and you need friends and you really kind of get value out of that, we have that option. So you're getting like some of the extras. And if something does come along, like you see a workshop with me and you want it, um, you can get it at a discount. And then there's the big group, which is you get everything that I ever do um, just automatically. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's, that's kind of why we decided, mm -hmm. decided to break things up and have those tiers. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah. So, you know, I know we wanted to t talk about the, uh, the, the, the questions that we got and I, mm -hmm. we actually probably have some, I know I can hear them here. popping and I'm like so excited. Um, uh, if you want to say something, go ahead. I'm just trying um, to, I'm trying, trying to, find, to the, find our chat window. I'm trying to find the chat window. So yeah, and I can hear everyone chatting. Um, yeah. So, um, oh, here we go. This is probably it. All right. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to start with the, the questions on paper and then I will do everybody's, uh, uh, questions on here. All right. So, um, so since, yeah, I actually already answered this question. This was the first question I already cool. Let's yes. talk about that again, though. So if you currently have a membership, what's the, happening? An annual plan. So right. if you're currently a monthly, what happens to you with this? You Then you transition to the fourteen ninety nine dollars basic, basic monthly plan. plan. And mm -hmm. so that just gets you access to the meal plans and the app. But they can upgrade to the premium or Correct. whatever. Okay. And so if they're currently an annual VIP member, what happens to them? It, the annual VIP members um, become uh, a standard member at the annual tier, um, we're not going to charge you. We're basically just going to migrate, uh, transition, however you want to call it. But they're it. not the premium. The, the no, no. That we're, and, 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 um, they, but they can upgrade into that. Yeah. But like I said, that you still have access to the community. You still have access right. to. So if you're currently a VIP member, you're, nothing's really changing for you. You're not like losing anything or nothing's disappearing except, well, the, the, well, the, the PDF. Books, Everybody the, needs to download those because yeah. you have to, they'll only be in the app after this. But, um, but I will, if you want the all inclusive, that is. An I, I will say that a lot of those PDFs that were on the dashboard are basically becoming a part of the the app. Yeah. So a lot of the stuff that was like a cookbook, um, like the detox plan that I know you guys are really into, that those recipes will inevitably be in the database. So you would still have them even at the most basic level. It's just that they won't be in the old PDF anymore. So yeah. So I mean, it's the not, recipes are in the database. So you don't need the PDF. It's not that we're necessarily getting rid of all the PDFs, but a lot of them are just becoming a they're, part of yeah, the database. They're becoming part of the database. So, and that's what a lot of the PDFs are is they're like, like there's a Thanksgiving cookbook. Well, we just put the Thanksgiving recipes in the database for you. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So it's, it's makes, so you're actually still kind of getting them. It's just in a more functional way. Cause we wanted you to be able to have them with the shopping list and checking off and you picking your own Thanksgiving menu. So yeah. Um, yeah. Just to kind of clarify that. All right. So that's one question. Um, all right. So, uh, Oh, number two, well, all the plans. What do you so one big question people have been asking is if all of the plans and all of the old stuff that you've had will be in the database. And right away, no. Um, there will be about 120 recipes in the database, and we're going to constantly be adding anywhere between 20 and 50 a month. And it'll always be like seasonal stuff. Like right now, our priority is getting in Thanksgiving recipes and recipes that are good for Hanukkah and Christmas and sort of winter and family time. So we're always going to be adding in more recipes, but at the start of the launch, we will not have all the meal plan recipes from all of the years because it's been seven years of recipes. There's like 5,000 of them, uh, but we'll definitely be adding them. And the other thing too, is there will be a way for you to request something. So if there is a recipe from a past meal plan, whether it's 2014, 15, 17, that you just love and you really want to see it, you'll be able to let us know. 
Um, and so we're definitely enjoying that. And also all of our fan favorites. So one of the PDFs that everybody loves is our best of cookbooks, like the best of 2016, the best of 2017, the best of 2018. We've already put those recipes in the database. And that's another reason why the PDFs are kind of going away is because we've taken the recipes from those PDFs and yeah. put them in the database so they can be on your shopping list. Um, yeah, it was, so it was, we've it, already done a lot of, so your favorites are there. So like 2016, 2017. And, 20, and what it will be and then, and then I think Thanksgiving and maybe like some holiday recipes holiday and detox salad. recipes. Those are all from, it's Already not necessarily in. all of those recipes, but it's, it's a broad collection across oh, all of those. Mm -hmm. It's about a hundred recipes, I'm guessing, yeah. all over. So, um, all. Uh, so, yeah, I was like, the favorites have to go in first. Like the, the top, top five, like everyone's obsessed yeah. with, those have to go in first. And so I did a big list. And so, thanks for everyone who helped me figure those out. There's yeah. some amazing polls in our VIP community. Yeah. So, um, so will the existing website dashboard remain intact? The intention is yes. Mm -hmm. the, the, if you have past PDFs, you know, in your account from your long membership, you're going to have access to all of those. Yeah. So all those old meal plan PDFs you guys have like in your queue, we're not like deleting them or anything. Um, so they're fine for now. We might yeah. change the website to do more stuff like videos at some point, but for the next couple of months, yeah, the we dashboard have no is of, exactly the same and yeah. we do not intend maybe, to change Maybe it. a little bit of a design change. Yeah, that maybe kind of improvements, stuff, but, but um, yeah. and of course we'll always let you know with plenty of emails if something's going to change. Yeah. Um, it looks like the email will still be, I will still get emailed a PDF as an annual member. I'm not sure if the app is absolute requirement or not. So we're not going to send a Wednesday PDF mm -hmm. email anymore. That's, that's going away. Um, cause we're not creating a PDF in that sense anymore. Like some PDF that we give to everybody. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, you, you, the app, you will need the app to, to do your meal planning, to access the recipes. Mm -hmm. Um, and, the, and Scott mentioned this won't be available right away, but eventually once you've selected your recipes and, you know, deleted what you don't want or added what you do want or however you're doing it, you can then print it as a PDF for yourself, which is your customized thing. We're just not sending a standardized one yeah, out anymore the way yeah. we used to. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things that we wanted to have at launch that we don't have, that yeah, we're not going to have. A lot of things. It's a handful of things. Uh, but, you know, we definitely want to continue to make this better experience better for everybody and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, be here for you guys. Um, uh, if an annual membership has already paid for the blueprints, will they have access to them in the app with a standard membership? Um, no, because the only people that are going to get access, uh, you, you, well, you can still get your blueprint stuff, you know, that you've already purchased from your old emails or that you've already downloaded. That's yours. But it won't be available to yeah. you in the app unless you have the highest level. Well, so you're not. Okay, let's be clear. The app is just about meal planning. You're not going to be getting, nobody's going to get blueprints in the app. So you can get them on the website. So if you're a premium member, you can get the blueprints oh, on yeah, the website. Oh, yeah, that's true. Sorry, I missed But work. the um, uh, the the folks that are, uh, you know, if you, because when you buy the blueprint, you're buying it through Happy Herb War yeah, and through this thing called digital product delivery. And so that's how you're actually getting, that's how you're always going to be able to get your right. app. Um, and, uh, um, it's just with the premium, you'll automatically always get the blueprint stuff. Yeah. So like, um, so a lot of, you know, that I'm working on a really big research science book. And so that will be sold as a blueprint item through happy herbivore. But if you have this premium level through the meal plans, we'll just automatically give that to you because some of you guys wanted yeah. that. You were very specific that you're like, I just want all the things Lindsay does, um, and not have to worry about it. And so this is that option. But if you've yeah. already purchased blueprint stuff, whether you had a meal plan membership or not, you will always be able to download your purchases yourself, um, either through yeah. email or if you lose it, you can email support yeah. and get it. Um, and the same thing like my workshops, because that's all on like a separate site where you watch the videos yeah. for the workshops. Um, will the app have an option for slimming options to automatically update the grocery list? That's something we definitely want to offer, but it won't be available yeah, at launch. So but you will be able to, when you see the recipe, you'll see the slimming option in the recipe, just yeah. like you do now, if that's what you want to do. But it won't automatically change the shopping list. However, you can change your shopping list because you can just like say, no, I don't want pasta. Yeah. Pasta is so, something so, that's removed in slimming options. Yes. Or uh, no, I don't want nuts. So you when you're, if, you're, if you're looking at the recipe, you will see the note, the slimming mm -hmm. note is still there. Um, we're not actually changing the ingredients that get added to the shopping list. And you, but you can go in there and if it say something like guacamole, you can cross it out. Cross or, it off so you don't um, buy it. Uh, the but we do want to have that eventually. That's a definitely well, a future thing. Well, okay. So the, I mean, this is so the yeah. So one of the things that 
that you would want to do is maybe use if you're if you're shopping if you're grocery shopping or in a store with app buying things, you know maybe you want to be able to add buy toilet paper or toothpaste or something oh, yeah, like that's that. What right now adding. that's not a, that's not something that's going to be available on the shopping list, but it's something that we absolutely and our next, intend to, our next to add. Yeah. So. Which I want to talk about really quick. So a couple of things that we're going to add is, like I said, is eventually we do want it to be where you can add ingredients like toilet paper or toothpaste to the shopping list. That's not available at launch, but it will be. We want to do grocery integration, like grocery delivery. That's a future thing. Um, yes. But for, I, I, you know, it, the app is great as it is now. So all this stuff is just going to be like little sparkles and glitter when um, they get added. But, oh, my gosh, we have so many questions coming in. Yeah, I, I've seen we've um, answered a lot of these already. Yeah, so let's see. you don't need to read them. I can... I was trying to read them while you were... So. Oh, that's a good question. Someone wanted to know about multiple devices. As long as they're using their same login, it's not a problem, right? Yeah, yeah. It's not yeah. A, so, yeah, you and your husband could use could the share same it, thing. Yeah, and that's, and that's what we do is... And we also have um, someone who helps us out part-time, and she also has access. And so sometimes... Um, her name is Sam. Sam will, like, look in and be like, oh, Lindsay's really wanting, like, tomatoes mm -hmm. this week <laughs> or whatever. Um, and so, yeah, it's just the same login. So you, your husband, your kids, your if a parent lives with you, if you have someone in the home helping out whatever everyone can use it on as many devices as you want and see all the same things that's actually nice when we're in the grocery store because we'll tag team we'll both have the shopping list open and it's just like clicking as we each buy and we're going through the grocery store and as scott mentioned the shopping list can be divided up by section. And so that's one of the way we divide and conquer is like, I'll pull up the freezer section on the shopping list and I'll take care of that while Scott's off in produce. And um, it really makes it easy to divide mm -hmm. and conquer. I'd say we're in and out in a quarter of the time now when we go together because it's so, because we're both clicking at the same time. Whereas before with the paper, we would literally have to tear it in half and be like, you do this and I do this. And we would still be like all over the store. Okay, so the Katie B asked, mm. uh, "Can you search for thanks camping or detox recipes?" Right now, you'd have to search for like kind of the name the or the name. recipe. Um, we do plan to um, put in uh, a special like it, it's going to appear as like another meal plan. So like right now, the meal plans in there will will say like um, October thirty first, November whatever you know. So it's just it's you by see the it week as, like you're used to. So, so you see it by weeks, right? And my intention is that we're gonna we're gonna put all of the the Thanksgiving recipes into a special kind of. It, it, there will be a Thanksgiving meal plan like we mm -hmm. always do, but we're gonna take all of the things that are already in the database and put them into a Thanksgiving kind of plan as well. And we'll do that with like the detox in January too. So you can yeah. just. So yes, you will be able to see just the Thanksgiving recipes or just the winter holiday recipes because we don't want to limit yeah. it to Christmas. It's just not in the wish. search right now. I, the um, search, yeah, we've got a lot of, yet. we've got a bunch of room to improve in the search uh, after we launch But yeah, so. so to answer Katie's question, you will be able to see just Thanksgiving and just detox um, and just winter holidays. Yeah. But the, to search specifically for like Thanksgiving recipes, that's coming. Yeah. Um, but they'll be there for you, just like your favorites. So it's basically like a list. Like you'll have this favorites list of all your favorites, and then there's going to be a Thanksgiving list. And, and we'll do that for every holiday. So when Valentine's Day comes around, you know, I'll have like romantic recipes um, on a list for you guys. So, um, which is basically just all right. chocolate um, fruit. So April asked, um, is there going to be a trial period? Yes. So if you're a new customer... Mm -hmm. So, or you're, a, or, or you're a past customer that's coming back and joining. Basically, and, you don't currently have a membership. Yeah, yeah. You, you can, you will be able to, to join under a, a seven day free trial. Mm -hmm. And you won't be charged until, uh, you, you do have to enter a credit card, but you won't be charged until actually your trial ends. Right. So, um, and you can cancel at any time in those seven days if it's not for you. But we think everyone's going to love this. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I hate technology and I love it. Yeah. Um, I, I, we just keep. I'm just going to reiterate about the PDFs because there's a lot of questions about PDFs. So the PDFs are are, are going away. You will have access to your library of, of past PDFs. Um, we do intend to offer the ability for you to say print like an individual recipe or print a shopping list uh, that you've customized yourself on the app. Um, it just might not be available at launch. Um, maybe in the maybe we can have it. You in know, the next in the, few in, weeks, in, yeah. Yeah, in the few weeks. And it might even be available on the app because the... Um, it might be available, but if not, it'll be in a few weeks. But Yeah, um, it's just TBD. But the yeah. thing is, is if you have PDFs you really love, download them, store them on your computer, store them on Google Drive, 
Um, we aren't, like I said, we aren't planning to change the dashboard too much, but a lot of it is being integrated into the app. And yeah. so definitely always download the things that you want. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm just going to like, so many people are afraid of tech and are, are, aren't you afraid of losing customers? Well, I mean, I think that the thing is that like, you know, like we've talked about it in the, in the announcement post, like we've been doing this for, Lindsay's been doing this mm -hmm. Happy Herb War and Mail Mentor for nine, 10 years, right? And I've been doing this full time for six years. And when we published a, a PDF every week, it's literally like we published like a mini newspaper because it requires yeah. so much editing and so many people are involved that it is just this really huge operational I can't issue. do 60 hour weeks anymore, guys. I'm 37. Yeah. I'm too old. It, it just, <laughs> I mean, I know I'm not old, but I'm too old yeah. to be working 60 and 80 hours every single so, week. So I so understand, that. I understand so, yeah. that a lot of people liked the PDS because yeah. it, it made it a little simpler and easier. Let's but, talk But technology. people also were constantly asking for the dynamic shopping yeah. list and asking to be able to choose their own recipes and substitute things. I mean, yeah, there's always friction with change, but yeah. for us, we have to do this. We I, can't, we can't work 60 hour weeks anymore. More, and we want to give you guys the ability to do you and choose your own life and have this customization. And um, it's so easy. I hate technology. I literally hate it. And I do so well with it. And yeah. I love the app. And also, like I said, you know, we want to not work 60 hour weeks anymore. And we want to empower you guys and give you guys so the choice to do you do you. And also one of the things I was talking to Scott last night is um, when I'm not working 60 hour weeks anymore, there, it will really give us more opportunity to add more to the app. And also just, I miss doing cooking videos and I really miss doing my podcast. And it's like, I can get back to those things and do more things. And yeah. I know a lot of you guys have wanted to go on like weekends with me where I really kind of break down and like work directly. And I mean, there's just going to be so many more options when we're not yeah. working 60 hours every day. Wait, so, so I think this, this, this simple yeah. summary of that is this is not sustain like creating PDFs. Yeah. For the newspaper thing isn't working. It's not, it's not sustainable. <laughs> so it, this either like we come to, we figure out a better way to handle, you know, our lives, uh, and run our business or mm -hmm. it like eventually it, it just, we go away. And I'm sure most people right. don't want that. Right. So. Um, yeah. So I mean, I mean, change is hard, but it's also good. Yeah. I mean, um, uh, let me just, I'm just keeping looking through all the questions, making sure we address everything. Um, uh, you will not be able to use the app on a computer. The um, you will have to have it either on a on a on an iPhone, an Android, or an iPad, or uh, like an Android on... tablet as well. Yeah. So Does it work on an iPod, like a big one? The ones that look like phones? Maybe I don't know. Probably yeah. not. Not that many people have them anyway. Yeah, that's so true. they don't really run anymore. Um, so we'll. All last recipes eventually be in the database. I think you're asking if we're going to end up oh past. Yeah, Katie asked that. I think in a year there's going to be so many recipes in there you won't know what to do with yourself. Yeah, and, you won't know what to do um, yourself. Um, and well, I mean, everything that everybody's favorites will probably yeah, be in there for sure. So. All the recipes ever, no. Um, for a couple of reasons. One is there's some recipes that just weren't, nobody really cared for. And also there's thousands. And so, but all of the ones that are really beloved, all of the ones that are favorite. And again, if there's one that you really love that you want in there, we'll include it. Just, you know, we're just going to be away for that. But, um, all 5,000 now, but mm -hmm. like Scott said, within six months, there's going to be hundred, there's going to be like over 500. So you're going to be, you're going to be like all set. Yeah. <laughs> there's going to be so many. So, 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 so and I'm going to be adding four new recipes every week. Yeah. Like, like new, not like new to the database, but like new you've never seen yeah. before. That's one of these benefits of me not working so many hours on the PDF production is I'm going to actually be able to be in my kitchen and bring you guys even more new recipes, which yeah. is what everyone said they wanted. So it's All right. coming. All right. So Laura asked, um, how, when will you be able to download the app? So the intention is that we will be available for download on Monday, November 5th. Now, so we fun. still have to get we have still have to get the, the the app through the review process, and so my intention is that it's available on Monday. Mm -hmm. I think that like, you know, we'll get there. I think we'll be fine. I I, I that's my intention. If so. we run into any kind of bugs or hangups or the Apple Store or whoever, we're gonna let a hard you know. Time, we'll let you know. Yeah, we will definitely let you know. And we'll also let you know when it's ready to go. Yeah. So, and and uh, you know. It, 
and, and, and so I, I want to just I, there's because there's one thought that I wanted to say that I forgot to say. Megan said, "I'm sure you'll lose some customers, but I imagine you'll gain a lot." And I think that's kind of the things. Like it's really hard to be everything to everyone. It is, you know. And this is true about real life too. Like we were just talking about this yeah. that we can't be each other's like whole everything. That's why we have best friends or yeah. people we talk to about business, even though we're in business together. And yeah, you know. So yeah, I mean, I I I, I get that this is for many people will be a stressful like change and you know, there's going to be things that they're going to not, they're not going to like. And, um, and so that's why we're trying to be as upfront and honest about this stuff. So, right. um, where will you find the app? So <laughs> Christine, so, uh, the app, so, um, if you're on an iPhone, there's the app store on your phone that you should be able to search in there for meal mentor. Um, or I think even if you search for Lindsay, it'll probably show up. Uh, and then on the, on an Android device, it would be in the Google play store. And so you would just search in there. Um, and the download is free, but you, then you will log in with your meal mentor, uh, website login. Um, so, uh, uh, no, it, it, somebody asked, um, so Trish asked if you'd be able to, Access recipes and find recipes oh, saved I, on your computer or Google Drive. No, it's not gonna. It's not gonna. It does, the app doesn't work that way. Yeah. It has to be in the app. So Debbie said something that I wanted to share, which is something I keep forgetting about. But one of the other reasons we did this was environmental reasons, um, not just because of the paper you produced, but the amount of paper that we were using during our editorial process of checking things, like I would just look around and see how much we took to the recycling center and be like, let's save some trees. And so that's one of the things mm -hmm. I love about this app is it's saving trees, not just from our, you know, waste in house, but also everybody else's. So I really, it's, yeah. we've been ever since um, we moved to the Pacific Northwest, we've been really trying to embrace like no waste. And I am con constantly amazed at how much more and more we're reducing. Yeah. Um, oh. So this was a big thing for us, you know. All right. Uh, so, so thanks for reminding me, Debbie. And, and I'm, just because it, it keeps coming up, I'm going to just, Kelly asked, you know, like if you'll be able to print um, from a computer. So the intention is that you should either be able to print from your phone whenever the feature is available. It's not going to be available now. Or you should be able to print, print from a desktop, um, you know. So I, I don't... I don't anticipate this to be that challenging. So yeah, yeah we, we want to provide printing options because that's been a big part of And we know some people, people still have, love it. Not everyone's like done, me and wants so. to do everything digital. Yeah. Um, and it, it, it is, it is, so the, it is impressive the how people would print and then tape the recipes to, to the, the cabinets mm -hmm. and then use I that. Somebody told me to do that and it changed me. And I know yeah. a lot of people keep things in binders and that's fine. Also from my phone, I can print from my phone. Like it doesn't matter what I'm looking at. I can print what's on my phone. And so there's always that option yeah. too. So like if I'm, you know, looking at a website, I have my printer set up and I just printed that. So there's that option as yeah. well. Um, yeah. Someone was asking about mixing and matching. And that's the other great thing about the app is yes, you can absolutely uh, mix yeah. and match. If you want to do two family recipes and three individual or one and three, whatever, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. And we love that because I cook family meals for us to have for dinner and then lunch the next day. But then also I eat a lot more lunches while Scott takes business lunches. And so I'll then pick individual recipes for just myself that he's not eating. Or Scott will be like, I really want cauliflower risotto, which sounds delicious. I'm heinously allergic. So I'll just do the individual for him, but then all other family meals. So that's one of the things I really love about the app is it really is allowing you to, you do you, which you guys are always hearing me say, like you do you, like now you can, no more are you stuck with just what, um, I'm doing. So, um, I'll let you answer it. So she basically asked, I get that the blueprint is available this year, but what about next year? Like she's asking kind of future. Uh, well, so if you already have a blueprint, any future update to it that I do or new thing that comes out, you'll continue to get it. Um, but I am going to do more blueprint projects or products or how everything. So I, to tell you guys what's kind of coming in, um, 2019 is I'm going to have a lot of really um, intensive workshops where basically you're going to get this like really big workbook and then you're going to spend, it's kind of like going to class for a day with me and we're going to really dig deep into a particular area of science or a particular strategy. So like one of the things I'm working on right now is on sugar addiction and what you need to do to do that, like how sugar addiction works, like in your brain, in your body, like all the science about it. It's super fascinating. Plus I 
dive into the science of addiction, which is a whole other fascinating thing. But it's going to be kind of like going to a college class for a day and also self-helpy because you're going to fix your thing. Mm -hmm. um, and so I have a lot of these like really big workshops and big workbooks coming out. And like there's going to be a, sh a sugar, ending the sugar seduction blueprint, which is kind of like the bikini blueprint or the bikini blueprint is just about getting your body de-bloated and as fast as possible. So you just look and feel your best before you have to be in a bikini or whatever. And this is the same thing as this is going to be a blueprint that's specifically about um, breaking a sugar, like the sugar seduction. We just did it again and it was really amazing. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so there's going to be all these future things and you'll just automatically get that. Yeah. Um, but if you, but that's only at that premium level. Otherwise right. everyone will have so to just buy it a la carte. Debbie asked a question and I'm just going to reiterate because I know this is, it keeps coming up. They asked if, you know, we really need to be on an iPad or tablet. And I was like, yes, you will be able to download the apps to an, an iPad or an Android tablet. Um, it, the experience is going to be different. It's maybe not going to look quite as nice, but um, I think but it it'll, be, it'll be definitely very usable and you'll be able to cook off of it. Um, and it'll be large and easy to read and stuff like that. Or, mm -hmm. You know, so. Um, uh, will there be a, so Samantha asked, will there be a notes section for each recipe? Not not a, initially, but I think it's something that we could certainly yeah, really add. Yeah, it's a really good suggestion we can um, add for sure. You know, I, we're definitely going to be taking feedback and feature ideas from folks. One of the things that's coming, not at launch, but future, is we are going to also allow you guys to rate recipes too. Because I know that's a really big thing is a lot of people want to see what other people think. And so um, that's a future thing. And we've even talked about one of the future options of you being able to even upload your own pictures. Um, to recipes. And so, cause mm -hmm. I know that that helps me sometimes just seeing my own pictures. I'm like in my phone going, what is that? Oh, right. That's what it looks like. So even though there's pretty pictures, sometimes I like to see what mine look like. So, so Melissa asked, uh, can you double the quantities in the app? No, right now, like, um, you know, you're not going to be able to adjust anything. You can either choose the individual recipe or the family recipe if they have, because oftentimes we have an individual and family recipe. It's the same recipe, just at different, different quantities. quantities. You know, I think with technology, we have the ability to maybe consider using, because there's, you know, if you go to like somebody like all recipes, you, I think all of their all yeah. of their recipes allow you to change the, but, the quantity. Now, obviously, that but that's is, not a good thing to do though, because yeah. there's some things you do not want to automatically yeah. blindly double, I, like I, ginger or hot sauce or cornstarch or flour or baking soda. Oh, no, I, yeah, I don't know. So yeah, I'm sure I don't. I mean, obviously, that's a big company, so I'm sure yeah. that they put a lot of research into it. But I definitely am it's nervous. It's all algorithm, yeah. I, I definitely am nervous about ever trying to rely on technology to tweak that kind of stuff. Cause I think it might just turn into I guess like the really bad I guess the solution would be to shop the family recipe and then shop it again. Yeah. If yeah. you want to double it, that's yeah. the best way to do it is just yeah, shop just it. And then, you know, again, yeah. that would yeah. work really well. Cause actually I think I'm going to probably have to do that for Thanksgiving for serves eight for yeah. one of, one of the salads. Cool. Um, so, um, so Wendy, yes, I can't print off my phone or iPad. Can I print recipes to cook from home? So the intention is that we're going to make it to where you can print the recipes from your computer um, and eventually the shopping list as well from your computer. Or you um, could just send the PDF to your email and then open it up and print it. Well, the thing is, I, I don't think we're going to be able... The app is... From the, the app, you are not going to be able to do those things oh, right, that's right. right away anyways. That's right. Um, but... The, the idea is that we're going to make that available on the website if you so choose. And then that makes it, it's kind of a compromise because we want, we know that some segment of our customers are going to want to do this. And so we're trying to provide kind of a, a workaround until maybe it can be in the app. Yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. yeah, it's something I want to know more about. And I want to give people the flexibility because certainly having a phys, I like having a physical I know copy you a do, lot of yeah. times. Yeah, it definitely does. Yeah. So, all right, everyone. Well, Let's see here. Oh, Tess asked about Thanksgiving. I'm. Uh, you guys can watch my Thanksgiving videos from the previous years because I do the same food every year. I don't really change it up. But, yeah, I don't have time to do videos because, you know, 60-hour weeks. But with the app, that's going to change. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, I, I guess I want to reiterate uh, one more time, you know, that uh, the app is, we're planning to have it launched November 5th. Mm -hmm. There are things that are out of our control, like getting it through the approval processes. Um, but the great thing is we are running a G-rated app. And the, there, so there's really nothing challenging about what we're trying to do. So there's not many things that we're going to get I had no idea on. until our app that there was like, 
apps that had ratings. Well, like I mean, that it, weren't G. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it, it, it you know, it, it, technically, I mean, of course, there should I technically, guess that makes sense, but you know, like it probably needs to be like I don't know. You know, there's all kinds of privacy laws, and a, you need to be an adult to basically have an email account to sign up for things and all kinds of stuff. So there are some things out there, but yeah. Uh, November 5th, woo! Um, Monday! And, and if you have questions, please email what support, and we'll be happy oh, to help you out. it's not even a week out. anymore, because so. it's Tuesday. Yeah. I don't know what day it is. And we are, the last PDF meal plan goes out into your email tomorrow. So it's last very exciting time. on Halloween. On Halloween! The last meal plan. So it's been... Seven, it's been just over seven, seven years. years, like seven years in like two, two weeks. weeks or three weeks, something like that. Liter- it's, like, it's seven weeks and 20 days, actually. So to tell you how, what a different seven, world. Yeah, seven years, 20 days. The, the, what a different world it is. We were living in St. Martin um, when Lindsay wrote that first meal plan and then launched Oh, you it. know what? We should dig it out and show, like send it out and so people could see how they've changed in seven years because you'll be like, oh. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it, so shocking. Yeah. Because I looked one up recently. Yeah, it, they look very, very different, so. So how many meal plans total did we say we did? Uh, 320. What, what, how so, many total oh, PDFs? Um, so whenever I posted that graphic, I put I posted 364. I think ultimately it's going to be 366 or 367. 367 PDFs. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, oh, what a ride. Yeah. So I'm really ready for the app. I'm really excited. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Take care. It was wonderful uh, mm-hmm. being able to answer your questions. So and- glad everyone's so enthusiastic. I'm really loving all these comments. Yeah, can't just- like, Yay, we'll wow. have to find that original meal plan and put that up. Maybe we'll make that one just freely available. Just free on website, every, so. you, you, to amuse. It'll be our <laughs> Halloween treat. Yeah. All right. Bye, everybody. Have a great week. And we'll be talking. We'll probably, we're planning to probably do one next week as well. And show the, so. s- the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Adios. Oh.